man. Yeah, yeah, uh, this is this is uh, Isaiah 40, Isaiah 42. This is Isaiah 42, uh, verse 13. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, he shall roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. I have long time holding my peace. I have been still and refrained myself. Now will I cry like a travailing woman. I will destroy and devour at once. Amen. Amen. When, when, uh, when you see the Lord say he's been old, he been quiet, man. <clears throat> quiet, he ain't been saying nothing, man. So when the, when, when the most high blow, he gonna blow like a travailing woman, man. Right. When you hear a, a female give a burst, man, she done, she screaming to the top of her lungs in agonizing pain, man. Whoever's holding that hand, they damn near lost their hand for a day, man. All right? Whoever's holding those legs up, man, that, that female is like, yo, second I'm done, I'm killing you, man. That's how, that's how it is, man. So the, the Lord saying, man, I've been quiet for too long, man. And you just look at it, look at it like one of those guys you, like one of those guys at school, man, been bullied all year. Ain't say nothing, but at the end of the year, can't take it no more and just snap, man. So when the most high snap, man, he putting y'all to death, man. I mean, y'all yeah, not coming back from it, man. Really, and, and really the Lord snapping right now, man. What you see right now, th this is this is the Lord semi-pissed off, man. Cause because all of this is really just prophecy coming to pass, so it could it could it could build up to the day of Armageddon, man. So it could build up to that valley of Jehoshaphat, man. So all, all these things that you see in happening, earthquakes, wars, rumors of wars, all, all this talk about, you know, uh, invading other countries, all, martial law, that's really the Lord doing it, man. Because the Lord's tired of these people, man. He's getting, and, and, and um, the more death and destruction that, that starts coming, um, coming to pass, man, the worse it's gonna get, get man. It's gonna get worse and worse and worse, like contractions, man, when a woman is about to give birth. And uh, stock markets crash, like great crashes. They don't give the people a warning like that week before. Hey, y'all, the stock market about to crash. Y'all get y'all water and all that shit together. As soon as that night, that 930 bell rings and Wall Street, ding, 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 ding. When them numbers come on that street. Woo! Like that, dog. It's gonna happen right there, right on, right on television. And these people, man, and that's why, man, the Apostle uh, Tar gets on uh, uh, all you other uh, Israelite camps because you ain't paying attention. Like, you should be watching CNBC. They go constantly into the stock market, and you see it. How it just goes up and down. They have no control of it. Every day, they have no control of it. And now that the Federal Reserve didn't raise interest rates, all right, that goes to show you that they, they have no confidence in the fucking system anymore. They have no confidence. They, how come they didn't raise interest rates? I think it was George Soros who really bet on uh, yeah. the stock market crash this yeah. year. Yeah, that's what they're betting on. See, all these investors, and you can see numerous of news articles, American investors, they run running out of Dodge. They're not investing in America anymore. They invest in other shit, man. And, and they invested in hardcore resources like gold, okay, uh, certain uh, commodities that's beneficial to their survival. That's why they're building all these underground bases. They're getting ready for that, that, what the brothers said, man, that economy to snap. And that's when y'all people are going to really be screaming, like the brothers said, like a, a woman in travail. All right? Screaming like a bunch of bitches. And really, you should have been known because it's all over the news. Like, there's no uncertainty anymore. There's no confidence. You got to have confidence in the system. You see that when you know, all these investors pulling their pulling they money out the... Uh they stocks, man. Mm -hmm. They pulling they um they bonds out, man. Yeah. Yeah, either way, man, this is how bad the system is when it comes to the economy. Interest rates, all right, close to zero percent. If the Fed were to raise it, what does that affect? That still affects you peons. That affects your car loans. That affects your credit cards. That affects your student loans. Because if they raise it up, that means your rates are going to go up if they're not fixed. All right. But being that it's still low, who, who's that hurting? The average guy who doesn't have all debt, who's just saving money in a savings account. Okay, you're losing your savings. So, literally, what's that term? A Babylon America is between a rock and a hard place, and she cannot get the fuck out of it, man. She is being judged, and she can't get the fuck out of it, man. You're stuck. You gotta be put to death now. Mm -hmm.
Uh, this is Jeremiah 51 and 8. Behold, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her, take balm for her pain, if so, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let her let us go everyone into his own country, for her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even unto the sky. Yeah, man, so, so, man, these... No, 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 you break it down, no, no. Crying, man, so these other nations, they would, they, they would, they would have at one time healed Babylon, man, but they, but they, uh, they could, they can't heal Babylon, man, because the dollar is worth shit, man. The dollar is worth less than shit, man. God. So there's no way to heal Babylon from all her plagues and all the judgment and destruction coming on upon her. And the first judgment that's coming upon her is going to be that financial collapse, man. If if not, um, them going into the Middle East, man, and getting fucked up. That's right. You know, the, the, what started out was when it was in 2008 when they had when they had to bail out banks. Once they had to bail out banks, that that was it. Like, wait a minute, you're telling me the average taxpayer has to bail out banks, these big banks that we go to, if we go into bankruptcy, we got to take out a loan, okay? So that, since that happened, that affected the whole globe. Every country got affected because what happened in America. And see, that's why these nations are going to rise up on America, because they're like, yo, it was you that uh, got us all fucked up. It was you. America has been nothing but a problem to the whole planet. That's the cancer that was by Matrix. Yeah. Up. Um, this is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 5. Yeah, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth that home. America got to go everywhere and, and, and um, put military bases everywhere. Who enlarges his desire as hell and is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. Shall not all these take up a parable against him, and the tanting proverb against him, and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his? How long? And to him that laded himself with thick clay. You know, um, that's debt. And that's that America has thick America is to the place to the point of no return. Increasing that which is not his. Because Esau them fucking elites, they can't be satisfied. And, and like you said, debt, that's how backward this society is because in order for you to invest money, you got to invest in treasury bonds. And treasury bonds are another word for saying government debt. You're investing in debt? Does that make any sense? This place is fucking backwards, man. Yeah, yeah, God, God. Uh, uh, this is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, uh, I'll start at 17. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord, and their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh as the dung. Verse 18, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. Right there, yeah, let me stop right there with I silver and gold nonsense, man. You got these fucking retards like, oh, I'm gonna get my silver and gold, okay? Especially Jake. Let me ask you something, man. Where, what store, when the whole shit collapses, is going to accept your gold and silver? Let them know what Gurger troop, a Russian soldier, or one of these bucks, or bug down Edomites that are militarized, is going to kick your teeth in and say, give me your fucking gold and silver in your home. You're not going to be able to, to prevent that shit, so getting gold and silver ain't going to save your ass, man. Uh, and that, yeah. that goes for the elites too, yeah. man, because they stop piling gold, man. All these other nations, China, they 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 preparing themselves for an economic collapse. They preparing themselves for World War Three, man. So they stop piling on gold too. But they don't spend that, that shit on. That, 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 they saving it for us. They saving it for us. Yeah, yeah, saving it for us. Yeah, some 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 dumbasses. They buying gold, but they keeping it like yeah. it's not it's not with them. It's not like it's somewhere in a bank or somewhere, yeah, yeah, like in the treasury or some yeah, shit. Yeah. So they don't even have the gold on them. They got a certificate yeah, that says they, that they, they have that much gold or whatever. Fuck yeah, man. No, like, you see how you said? You see how you said the elites stop piling. The yeah. elites really, they honestly feel like when your house shot come back, you come put them in chains. They be like, look. I have all this gold to give you, spare my life type of shit. This king Solomon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like here, save me. Like, nah, man, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. I got one. 
Uh, this is uh, Ezekiel uh, 7 and 18. They, also, they shall also gird themselves with sackcloth, and horror shall cover them, and shame shall be upon all faces, and baldness upon their heads. Yeah, man, that, when, that, um, when everything, when that, um, like the brother said, man, when the uh, economy collapsed, you niggas gonna humble the fuck down, man. I'm gonna realize, shit, man, I'm done for it, man. Right? Verse 19, they shall cast their silver in the streets, and their gold shall be removed, their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fear their bowels, because it is a stumbling block of their iniquity. Yeah, man, so, yeah, all this gathering up silver and gold, man, to, to you regular peons and you elites and you, all you other nations, man, y'all gonna toss that shit out, man, because y'all know it's not gonna be able to save y'all, man. Pass them down the line, man. That's right. And you know, that gold and silver, man, that's just a delusion, man. The Lord put that delusion on you. So that, uh... Um, the, the Lord put that delusion on you. That's a little taste of that time, Isaiah 4 and 1, man. Lord, we'll be part of the lab, man. We're going to be coming up, giving us all type of treats. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got a quick scripture on that. <laughs> but it, it ain't going to be these type of treats. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's going to be them goodies. Nah, it's going yeah, like to be another kind of Like the brother was saying, like the brother was saying, you know, with all this gold and silver, you know, that's actually a delusion upon y'all because the Lord put that. Because you have like, you have like these clowns like Alex Jones, um, you have all these uh, companies, these gold companies, you know, telling you, hey, you know, the dollar's not safe, so invest in gold, right? But that's actually a delusion because when that shit um, happens, that, you ain't gonna be able to get it. And that was the Lord uh, putting in your mind to have you delusional. I'm gonna give a scripture on that. Uh, this is Isaiah 66 and 4. Uh, Salakia, um, I'll start out with three, and uh, let's start right here. Um, Yea, they have chosen their own ways, and their soul delight in their abominations. I, verse four, I will also, I will also will choose their delusions. I will bring their fears upon them, because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear. But they did evil before my eyes, and chose that in which I delighted not. Because gold and silver is evil. You're not supposed to put your faith in gold and silver. You're supposed to put your faith in this world, which is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And engaging in all this uh, bullshit, being friends with the world, accepting homosexuality and all that. that That's against the Lord. And you know what? And that's why he put that on you. Because really, when you think about it, he's only dealing with what? The elect. And that's just what it is. That, we want to give our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, double honors to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone, right. salutations to all the Akim, my death, pushing the truth, and all truth is saved, all three, death to America, one, two, three, death to America!